Ooh, today's the first day of Vita, so... Or, Vito. Yes, this is October, not April or August. Say hi, boo. She's a little camera shy. Today. today is October 1st, the first day of Vito. Hopefully I will actually continue this every day. I achieved it with Vita after all, so we'll see how today works. Um, so you hear about how morning people rule the world and the early bird gets the worm and people say that morning people are the ones that will take over the world, rule the workplace, getting raises, promotions. Well, being that cheerful self that everybody loathes and hates so much in the morning. Hi, I'm a morning person. Morning people have it the worst. See, I have notes in everything this time. Admittedly, I finished reading off my notes. So. The idea behind morning people versus night people, um, there are proper terms for it. I'm not going to use them because I will just mispronounce them because I'm only used to reading them out, reading them in, you know, books or online or things like that. Um, the idea is that some people are more aware in the mornings, other people are more aware at night. Um, there's people that are also aware in the afternoon. They're devil people. And generally people come in all shapes and sizes. Um, I am a morning person. What I define that as the being is that, well, I'll give you an idea of my morning routine. I don't wake up with an alarm. Um, I actually naturally wake up without needing an alarm usually. Uh, the only times that I need an alarm is if I need to get up especially early in the morning, like for a flight or something like that. Um, I normally wake up somewhere between 6 and 6.30 in the morning. Yes, even on weekends. That's right. 6 and 6.30 in the morning. Um, I usually wake up sometime between 6 and 6.30 in the morning. Normally by about 7, I am completely 100% wide awake. That's right. No coffee, no caffeine. Not that that works on me anyway, I have caffeine inversion. But no form of stimulants required. I am completely wide awake. The most that I need is a warm shower. That's it. On the other hand, you get to, um, a lot of people have what's frequently referred to as a afternoon snooze time, um, a siesta or, boo kitties exploring, um, a siesta or things like that. I, just like lots of other people, get very sleepy after lunch. The difference is that I don't wake back up. At all. Um, if you look at, say, how productive I am, how well I think. Uh, this was especially obvious in college. Um, I stopped being able to think very well after a period of time. The idea is that I'm not awake anymore. Imagine that. And comes nighttime, I stop being able to think completely. So if one were to use a graph, I should totally draw up a graph, shouldn't I? If one were to use a graph to show how awake I am versus um, time of the day, I would probably end up, well, nice little slopes here and there. I will probably edit in a video of me actually drawing a graph. Because I can do video editing, I swear I don't suck terribly at it, just mostly. In any case, point is that I'm not really all that awake at night. Why does being a morning person suck? Nobody asked. Eh, I'm sure somebody just asked. It has completely and utterly obliterated any chance that I've had at having a social life. No, really. So, um, let's say that you are a late teenager to early adult, young adult, one of those terms, and you want to go hang out with friends. All right, we're having a good time. Let's go out and do something at night that involves friendship and caring, and I swear this is not a My Little Pony episode. Um, just something. Okay, what time are we going to do this? So, 
now's the time that I admit to a lot of people that may be watching this that have had that have asked me to go out in such times. Um, the idea of me going out at 7 p.m., so, you know, a relatively innocuous time, is like asking somebody who is a night person to have a 7 a.m. meeting. Yeah. That's right. Boo, stop eating the floor. So, um, the idea of, you know, staying up late and partying, say, to... We'll go with a relative innocuous late night party of 1 in the morning. That'd be like me asking you, no, not you, not the afternoon person, the night person that's probably about 50% of the people watching us. Um, that'd be like me asking you if we can go out for a nice early breakfast at 5 in the morning. Yeah, I can actually go for a breakfast at 5 in the morning. <sighs> Staying up late at night is exhausting to me. Um, I have participated in a couple of board game nights as an adult. That's lasted until, you know, 3 in the morning. I'm worthless the next day. Completely. I am utterly exhausted. I cannot think. I cannot do things. It's not fun. It's not very productive either. I mean, if I want to do things that require me to use this thing here, I need to do them before noon. That includes weekends. So yes, people that are watching, if you say that you don't get up until 1.30 on a weekend, you're effectively you're telling me you need to make a choice. You can either hang out with me or you can actually have a productive day. Choose. And no, I'm not asking people to wake up at 7 in the morning, although I would love to actually organize a breakfast type of thing instead of a dinner thing. Uh, right now I go out to eat once a week with a group of friends. I'd actually prefer going out for breakfast, even though I'm not as big of a fan of breakfast foods, just for the socializing. Um give you an idea of how much of a morning person I am, up until I turned, you know, we'll go with 18 or so, I could not stay up past 9.30 at night. So, 21.30 for those of you that use 24-hour clocks. That's it. Past that point, I would clunk out. Absolutely no problems. Um, more as an adult, I've been able to extend that to the point where normally I go to bed sometime between 10 and 10.15. Um, that's a little extreme now. I start getting tired if I do that too often. I eventually end up going to bed at, you know, 9.30 again. So yeah, um, what else? So, work. A lot of people claim that morning people are the best people because the entire concept of the American workplace is based off of morning people. No, it isn't. You're full of crap. So the idea behind the Qualifications for morning person at the American workplace is that people like to have meetings early in the morning. And in order to participate in those meetings, you need to be awake. And if they're first thing in the morning, you may not have finished waking up from your first cups of coffee or tea or insert caffeinated drink here. Which is true. I'm definitely more aware for morning meetings than most people. Mm, Boo Kitty wants to rub up against me. Mm, Boo Kitty. So yes, I am definitely more awake in the mornings than most people are. I can participate in, you know, nine o'clock meetings without any problems while the rest of my coworkers are still kind of waking up. And that's fine from their perspective. The problem is that at least where I've worked and where I used to work and before there and before there, every place that I've ever worked, the expectation is that morning meetings are less productive than afternoon meetings. If you want to try to get something done in a meeting, something accomplished, you hold the meeting at 2 o'clock. You don't hold it too late, that way people are already mentally checked out for the day, especially on a Friday. You don't hold it too early because then people aren't quite awake yet. You hold it at 2 o'clock, which is the time that I am the most tired. So no, actually. You know, the idea of holding meetings early in the morning does not hold muster. On top of that, if you were to go socializing after work, which, as much as people would not like to admit it, is the primary way people get promotions, people interact with their supervisors and things like that, um, may not be the case in my particular job, but in most jobs, um, you go out after hours for drinks or for a party or weekend barbecues or things like that, and those things tend to 
be pretty late in the day. I can't attend those. I'm utterly exhausted by the time that 8.30 rolls around and I don't want to do anything that requires me to have any active brain power. So yeah, being a morning person's kind of screwed me over out of having a social life. Um, that's not to say that it's not partially my fault. I can train myself to be more awake. I can decide, yes, I should go to insert occasion here and then just deal with the after effects afterward. I mean, other people do that when it comes to morning stuff, so not entirely blaming the fact that I appear to be a social outcast on being a morning person, but it's certainly responsible for part of it. I hope you all have an enjoyable rest of the day, night, morning, afternoon, twilight, sparkle, whatever you happen to be watching this. Um, I'm going to attempt to post every day in October. Uh, the exceptions will be during the middle of the month where I will be taking a short trip to Florida in order to attend to my family's affairs after my father's death. Uh, kitties. Good kitten, everyone, and tomorrow's subject, I haven't decided yet. Bye-bye.